Hello, I'm Bob Duncan and welcome back to the Golfer Positioning System. Today we're going to talk about the fit of your clubs and specifically the frequency or flex of the shafts in your set. Now this machine is a frequency machine and it counts the vibrations of this shaft. When I set it to zero and I vibrate the shaft, the machine counts the vibrations. So it came up with 261 cycles per minute. Next what I'll do is I'll put that on a graph based on the frequency and the length. When I check an entire set of clubs, I want all the clubs on the same gradient or frequency. Now sometimes when you check a set of clubs, you might find a club that's off the frequency that you're looking for. Not all companies cut their shafts the same way. So you may have a Callaway that frequency is a little different from a Mizuno or a Titleist that frequency is different from a TaylorMade. That tells you something about differences in your set and having different companies in your bag. It's very difficult to get frequencies to match from company to company. And that's not to say that they don't all make good products. It's just when you're mixing companies in your bag, you may not know exactly what you have. Now let's say you have a 5.5 frequency in your uh, irons and you look at your wedges and it may say wedge flex on those uh, wedges. Now the frequency of those wedges ought to be equal to or more flexible than your irons because you're not swinging those as hard. So you want to check the frequencies of your wedges especially. When you're buying a set of clubs you're paying a lot of money for that set of clubs. As I said, some companies frequency, some don't. You want to make sure that your frequencies throughout your set match up. So check your bag. If you have a number of different companies in it, you might want to go to the pro shop and have all your frequencies set on a graph and find out if there's a club that doesn't match. If there isn't, that might tell you a lot about the performance of that club in your game. Another thing you want to check in the set is the loft and the lie angle of your clubs. Now you ordered two degrees flat or two degrees upright, for example. When that set comes in, the pro should check them to make sure that you got what you ordered. And then, in the follow-up, the pro should check them on a lie board again to make sure that the lies that you're hitting are the ones you need. It's kind of like a set of eyeglasses. The pair of eyeglasses you walk away with, you better be able to see with. So the set of clubs you walk away with is even more important than the fit. Make sure that you test your clubs, get the lofts and lies checked, check them on a lie board, check every club in the set, because you paid a lot of money for that set and you want to make sure everything's right throughout the set. Thank you for viewing this Golfer Positioning System lesson. Please go to my website at www.golfecoach.com. I'm Bob Duncan.